guys, 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 guys. We've got to talk about Superman. James Gunn's upcoming Superman movie coming out next year. And uh, we have a little bit of news. Possible sort of spoilers ahead. Not really spoilers, just really, really light spoilers. But I really want to talk about it because just these little details, these little sneak peeks of the film have got me very, very excited. Okay, Daniel RPK, uh, who we know is a great scooper in that in the Twitter world, he posted this to his Patreon, and DCU Superman News has, you know, obviously posted uh, what he posted. So, uh, wow, you know, wow, Patreon really works. But um, this info about the upcoming Superman movie is very interesting. And, you know, I've said in the past, you know, I'm not a big fan of Superman, da 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 Every iteration hasn't quite done it for me, but um, I'm ready for Superman. I've been reading some of the comics, you know, I want to watch the Superman Lois TV show. You know, I want to get into Superman um, because he does seem like a likable character. And uh, he was definitely more likable in All-Star Superman, just in that one comic book for me. Like, I was like, I'm sold. I'm ready for James Gunn Superman, uh, which it will be lightly based on uh, and a few other iterations. But this news is cool i like this i like the sound of this superman movie but this is what daniel rpk had to share about the upcoming james gunn film so superman is reportedly fantastic we did it guys we got the superman movie everyone needs we finally got it um <laughs> it's over um it will be a complete shift to hardcore sci-fi and fantasy okay so you know you think of all these superhero movies these days they're just going to be based in the modern world in our world like the mcu does and what dc has done before and everything and to be honest i've been one of those people ever since they decided to reboot the dc cinematic universe or the dc universe now it was very much like why can't they go back to like the 30s or 40s when these characters were first created i think that sort of that sort of background would be amazing i think i think can you imagine the set designs and the costume designs and everything but even though we're not getting that and it is very much like modern age they're going to be in their own sort of universe but uh hyper realistic whatever universe I, d I don't know like hyper comic book realistic universe if that makes any sense but anyway continuing on with a tweet before i get ahead of myself uh set in a world completely different than ours obviously um heroes have existed for ages and the story will show how these heroes have shaped dcu history now what i want to take away from this is i think this is going to be very very similar to what tim burton did to batman and you remember the world of gotham city in the tim burton batman films had this sort of 40s looking vibe 40s to 50s to 60s like the gothic structure the, what people were wearing in that film and like gotham city just looked amazing and just ah oh. and you know the old cars and but you know everyone's wearing like you know, like bowler hats and you know all this sort of old sort of clothing but it's very much in the modern age it's just not in our universe you know i mean this came out in 89 it's called batman 89 for a reason and uh, yeah, I just love the aesthetic of the Tim Burton films and everything. It, it was really something that I, you know, re that iconography I really remember like the most. Um, and I feel like James Gunn is doing something similar, even though he's been very vocal about not liking Tim Burton's Batman. <laughs> if you don't believe me, look it up. It does, it does exist. But, you know, each their own. But when Superman was filming, I was noticing from the set photos and, you know, if you don't want to see the set photo, it's not a huge spoiler, but, you know, turn this video off. That's fine. But the set photos kind of gave us a glimpse into the world of Metropolis and possibly the DCU now after what Dan Daniel RPK has put. But the costumes, look at these, man. Just bright, vibrant. They've got a sort of 60s, 70s sort of style. Really reminded me of Citizens in, in comic book for like in the world of metropolis and superman comics just really bright colorful costumes with that sort of 60s 70s like pop it's just really popping basically and i kind of get daniel rpk's comments there because it does look like a different world it's much brighter it looks kind of hopeful and clean um than just doing it in the modern day because let's be honest like 
I don't look great. I want to see. I don't want to see me on the screen as one of the citizens. I want to see completely different people. But that's why I think it's so similar to what Burton did. Um, kind of like this bright and hopefulness. Like look at look at all these costumes, man. Really, really great work. And then obviously there's Mr. Corin Sweat as Superman. Um, but I, I I'm excited because I feel like with James Gunn saying he wants directors to have their vision brought to life as original as it can be you know i think it's going to be really interesting to see what gotham city looks like and you know the other cities in the dc universe and atlantis and all these other worlds and places are just going to be so key uh and they don't have to be they don't have to be the same that's the thing i I think that's the direction he's heading for so metropolis is very much colorful and pop and brighty uh, brighty is that a word and everything i just i love the costume designs in this man and i'm really looking forward to to seeing it on screen and in our first trailer whenever that will be please be soon um but i just love the idea that it's not in our world but it's sort of like a similar world but it's a bit more it's different basically style's completely different this is basically a costume podcast now um but yeah what do you think of daniel rpk's comments there about the new superman movie has it made you more excited do you agree with me that gun's kind of going in that burton verse sort of direction like kind of keeping an aesthetic to each of the films so they don't look similar let me know in the comments below and make sure you like this video it really helps me out and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and uh up up and away Whoa, that was rubbish.